happy holidays. <laughs> so I've been quiet on this account for a hot minute. So I thought I would do the cosplayer tag again for a video. I haven't done one for a few years. I think it was last year, last summer I did it. Uh, I don't know. I took it down off my channel because I had been planning to do this video for quite a few months now and I just haven't done it. <laughs> But I decided to do it today in Deku, so let's get to that. So the first like little section of the video is just a get to know me kind of thing. Name, age, gender, and sexuality. I go by Max and they them pronouns because I am non-binary. And I guess I would classify myself as queer. I am 25, so I, I am an adult even though I look like a child. <laughs> I get told I look like I'm 16 a lot, which is perfect for when I'm cosplaying people like Deku <laughs> because I'm supposed to look like a child, but not so great when I'm actually out in my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> Everyone's just like, you're a child. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> no, please no. All right, the second question on the tag is my cosplayer name and meaning. So I go under the tag of Railtra Cosplay. And I chose it because I actually want to start working for NASA when I'm older. I am currently trying to get into college. I'm taking placement testing now. I'm studying for placement testing at least. That's a whole different tangent though. Uh, <laughs> but it does have to do with my name. Railtra means galaxy in Gaelic. I wanted to do something to do with space and galaxies and all that good stuff for my cosplay name, but everything seemed to be taken, so I was just like, well, if everything in English is taken, everything in a different language probably isn't taken. <laughs> so I chose Gaelic. But yeah, it means galaxy, and that's why a lot of my stuff for my intros is galaxy themed. Alright, so what got me into cosplay and how long have I been cosplaying? How long have I been cosplaying? I have been like seriously cosplaying since around 2016 or 2017. I think it was like t late 2017 when I started. Because my first cosplay was Chloe Price. So technically Life is Strange and Kingdom Hearts got me into cosplay. So I played the game Life is Strange and I found these two cosplayers, Danny and Hunter from Cacophony and Discord, and they were doing cosplay music video and I was, and I was just like wow I want to do that <laughs> so I tried to rope in people to do music videos with me <laughs> and then I just started cosplaying from there if we do want to go back to the Kingdom Hearts thing uh, I am going to butcher her name but I think it was Akane it was something in German but <laughs> she cosplayed Sora from Kingdom Hearts and my, my gay little queer heart just went, wow, she's pretty. <laughs> and I wanted to cosplay Sora because I wanted to be like her. Okay, so my cosplay inspirations. Hmm, who can I think of to be a cosplay inspiration? Uh, well, Akrakos. <laughs> <laughs> if that whole screen of photos of Akrakos wasn't enough, <laughs> I did meet them and I screamed <laughs> and then I didn't speak for like an hour. But yeah, one of the best days of my life meeting Amanda and Liz. But yeah, they are my two biggest cosplay inspirations right now. It's just not just the fact that Amanda's really pretty, but their work on their cosplay is phenomenal. Like, the amount of work that they put into all of their makeup, their wig styling, making the cosplays, the photo shoot quality, their CMV quality. Like, I really aspire to have the quality of work that they do for their cosplay for my cosplay one day. I'm working towards it. But yeah, um, also Mishkali and Svati are also a couple of cosplay inspirations for me. 
<laughs> I already am just as chaotic as Mishkali is. Uh, we, we do have kind of the same brainwave personality. We're both just crackheads at cons. I met her too, and that was amazing. Like, again, best day of my life. I met all of them on the same day. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the whole tangent about Amanda, we, we will end that here, because I could talk forever. <laughs> My boyfriend <laughs> is like jealous of Amanda, and I'm just like, uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> How many cosplays do I own? Ooh, uh, let me see. <laughs> so I have this whole list on my phone. So I'm going to just open up all my tabs on my phone and list off how many cosplays I have. If you want to count them, go for it, but I'm not going to count them. <laughs> Alright, we've got CL from Black Butler. Technically I'm going to count Grell also from Black Butler because Grell's almost done. Uh, <laughs> Amy Pond, Harry Potter, Chat Noir, Catra. Marshall and Ma Marceline from Adventure Time because gender bend. Uh, technically, I do have Moira from Overwatch. I have never worn her and she's not 100% complete, but oh well. I have two different versions of Mercy. Let's see. What else do I have? Yuri, Yurio, and Victor from Yuri on Ice. Keith, Lance, Pidge, Shiro, Anerva, and Alora from Voltron. Max, Chloe, and Rachel from Life is Strange. Three different versions of Bakugo. Kirishima, Deku, Todoroki, and Toga from My Hero. <laughs> that should be all of them. <laughs> oh, no. I also cosplay Bob from Animal Crossing. And I have pieces for Raymond. The first cosplay and my most recent cosplay is the next one. First cosplay I mentioned a little while ago was Chloe Price. Picture. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not much to say. I bought all of it. <laughs> Mostly from Amazon. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of money at the time. I was, uh, ooh, I don't know how old I was. I was a lot younger. It's been a while. It's been a few years. Anyway. And my most recent cosplay. Uh, it, technically it's CL, I also bought this, but, eh, I didn't feel like making it. Um, so this photo is by Eric W. Photography, by the way. Uh, if you want a nice photo shoot and you're in Maryland, I definitely recommend checking him out. I'll have his links in the description below. He is one of my good friends, actually and my go-to photographer because we always have a great time on shoots and he obviously delivers amazing quality photos. So yeah, my favorite cosplay, my least favorite cosplay, and the cosplay that I am most proud of. I'm actually gonna have to think about those. I mean, what are we ranking favorite on? <laughs> Cause Deku is one of my favorite comfort cosplays. I always am like happy cosplaying him and I, I can get into character pretty well, uh, usually. Like, especially if I'm out at, like, a con or something, I'm pretty in character for Deku. My favorite cosplay to wear in general? Probably Bakugo, just because I really like being Bakugo, and I think I look good in Bakugo's wig and stuff. I'm not very in character for him, though. My least favorite cosplay, well, it was Natsuki, because I am not girly, like, ever. Sometimes, but not really. I can sort of be, like, non-binary girly, but Natsuki is just pink. So yeah, that was my least favorite cosplay. The cosplay I'm most proud of is probably Hiro Bakugo right now. The gauntlets took a lot of work to do, and I made him in the span of, like, less than a week for MAGFest this year. And, uh, I'm pretty happy with him. I might eventually change how I do the tank shirt. It has, like, weird wrinkles in weird places, and it's really short, so I have to wear shirt stays to keep it in my pants. I'll probably redo that, but the gauntlets I'm really proud of. My favorite thing about cosplay. 
Mm. I just, I really like going out as the character and just messing around, honestly, and making CMVs. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend and our friends all cosplay, and so it's really fun to just dress up and be crackheads together at a convention. <laughs> Disclaimer, we're not actually doing crack. It's just my thing because we just, we look like we're on crack. My pet peeve about cosplay. Please style your wigs. <laughs> you could have this most amazing, beautiful cosplay, but if your wig looks like a rat's nest or it's not cut, it's all in your eyes and the character doesn't have in your eyes bangs, uh, some characters have that, but like, if it's true to your character, whatever. But like, if it's not supposed to look like that, please style your wigs. I know it's hard. There is a huge learning curve. I don't know how to style wigs very well still, but I'm attempting. Some of y'all out here with wigs looking like you woke up out of bed and didn't brush your hair. <laughs> Buying or making cosplay. I do both. Uh, if I just generally don't have time or don't want to make the cosplay because it's too intricate, I will buy it. If I find it like for a good price and like good quality, I will buy it. Like I bought my CL cosplay because I, I did not want to make that. <laughs> I just did not want to make it. <laughs> that looked like too much stress. <laughs> so I bought it. And it got here in a couple of weeks, and then, wee, I can cosplay. But, like, things like Grell, I want to be super show accurate, and I don't like how any of the Grell cosplays look in, like, what I can buy. So I'm making it. And so I'm making, like, Victorian suit pieces. And I'm just like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> so it kind of depends on you know, what cosplay it is. <laughs> the hardest to make and the easiest to make. Which Mercy was the hardest? <laughs> like, I, I have so much to say about Bakugo's gauntlets, and I cried making Bakugo's gauntlets, like, not even gonna lie, I threw them across the room multiple times. No, Which Mercy was harder. <laughs> Which Mercy was hell. I went to bed 6 a.m. the day of Otakon because I was making Witch Mercy that night before Otakon. I got three hours of sleep and then I was out on the con floor. <laughs> I hated that whole experience. And then I completely remade her and she needs to be remade again. And I'm just retiring it at this point. I'm probably not going to wear it ever again. <laughs> the easiest cosplay to make. Ah. Uh. Honestly, Fantasy Bakugo, a lot of the elements were like jewelry and um, the hardest part of it was probably the strap, just because it had a lot of fiddly little things to sew on it and like the sizing and stuff. But like capes are easy, jewelry's easy, like arm sleeves are easy, the shoes were a little bit intermediate, but nah, there wasn't much to it. And it took me like two days, max. My future cosplans. The biggest ones I can think of right now is I cosplayed Yuri's Eros costume in the past, but I had bought it and I don't really like how it looks or sits on my body. So I'm going to be remaking that. So my future cosplan is my self-made Eros. Uh, that was supposed to be for Katsukon. I guess it's getting pushed back because Katsukon got cancelled. Um, Grell is a future cosplay because I'm in the middle of making them. I really want to cosplay Milo from Monster Camp. <laughs> like, I haven't really said this publicly, but I'm probably cosplaying Milo from Monster Camp. But yeah, the hardest part about Milo is probably going to be the intricate little markings on their jacket robe thing that they wear. Insert picture of Milo. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I want to do them. Canon, they're non-binary, and so I already wanted to cosplay them before I knew that, but that's just a little extra push towards it. <laughs> um, 
I already have my Marceline and Marshall cosplay, but my boyfriend is going to be doing Prince Gumball. So we're going to do Gumball and Marshall Lee together. So those are a semi close future cost plan. And he's going to be the Sebastian to my CL and Grell. So cost plans for the future. That's the, the only ones we're going to do like in the immediate future. Um, semi a little bit further out probably is Retzko and Haida. So <laughs> he really wants to be Haida and I'm just like sure I'll be Retzko. <laughs> Because I like Agretzko, so... Yeah. Uh, that's the immediate ones. <laughs> well, uh, the last question was upcoming conventions, but with the state of America right now, I would say the world, but other countries have their shit in control. <laughs> with the state of America, I have absolutely no idea what my upcoming conventions are. I say it with a smile to hide the tears. I don't know. We really don't know at this point. But yeah. If you want to meet me at a convention and you live in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area and conventions are back open, uh, you follow my Instagram. I always say what conventions I'm going to there. I just kind of want to plug that you see my nice Christmas background here that I have set up. If you want to see the photos from the photo shoot that I'm about to take right after I finish filming this, uh, my patron will be linked in the description below. It's $3 a month for the lowest tier and you get all of my safe for work photo shoots and my like, cost test and my whole patron feed. And it's $3 a month to support me and have my everlasting love <laughs> because people support me. We have a small little family right now, but I'm sure we'll grow in the future. If you do want to subscribe to one of the higher tiers though, I also do not say for work photo shoots and CMVs and stuff. Um, there's a mid tier level that you get all access to early access CMVs and videos, bloopers, etc, etc. Um, that we put out. My boyfriend and I do a lot of collaborations for spice and not safe for work stuff. So all the CMV tier gets like a month in advance access to watching all of my videos. And then of course I have prints that I send out to people who would like prints. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting distracted by my candy canes over here. And uh, I have candy, I have candy. I will see you in my next video. Bye.